have your seat confidently. You can never stand in God's presence and be bored. If you are bored in God's presence, walk away. That's not God's presence. I have never in my life since I got born again ever been bored in God's presence. Never. Why? Because of the anointing. Amen. Anointing. Our problem today is because anointing has been relegated to the background. The gospel has turned to story book. People just memorize stories. Right? Rotary memory. Sit down all day, full time pastor. Story, story, look at, look at, look at, memorize and come and tell story on the pulpit. That's not the gospel. Bible says the gospel is the power of God unto what? The salvation. You don't need too much talk. You just confront the anointing and let it play what they want to play in the church. And Balaam said to Balak, he said, I will not say anything, either good or bad, from my mind. That, does, that the Lord does not tell me to say. Oh, seriously, right? That's serious. That's serious. That's serious. So, so, so it's possible for us human beings to say good or bad and think God is speaking. Oh, wow. Motivational speeches. <laughs> they say, when you go to church, that's where they speak sweet things to just make you comfortable. That's not the way it works. Amen. It is the anointing that speaks. Amen. Bible says, if any man should speak, let him speak as what? As the oracle of God. Oracle. Not from your mind. Not from your mind. It's man of the head. Oracle. Everybody say oracle. The anointing is what makes you speak like an oracle of God. Just come on, hallelujah. Can break people's yoke by the anointing. Come on, hallelujah. You know, now listen the wall of jericho was surrounded and god only told them to blow the trumpet <laughs> not talk too much what do i say blow the trumpet <laughs> and the wall began to fall down the second day this is not storybook we need the anointing i said we need the anointing we need the anointing See, the only thing that can shake this generation, I've been telling you, if you can sit down there and think you are a boss, see, hey, it is the anointing that can change this generation. Nothing, nothing else. Nothing. This is our generation that have made up our mind, we've made up our mind to be secretive. To go with people who praise us. <laughs> to only go with our team. We will shock every form of advice. And concentrate on the advice of the team. That's our generation. We're going to water you down without even talking with you. Just look at you. This is not qualified here. Turn the back of you without even knowing. You are out of the group. That's our generation here. But when the anointing come upon your life and you speak, people listen. Amen. What do I say? People will listen. No need to form secret court so that they can hear you. No, you don't need to do that. For the gospel's sake, the anointing is needed. Let not your head lack the anointing. What do I say? Let not your head lack the anointing. For everything that you are doing to prosper, you need the anointing. Everything you are doing to prosper, you need the anointing. Anointed. Everybody say anointed. Say, oh Lord, I need your anointed. A church is not a church. Why do you call a church a church without the anointing? We are just wasting time. Amen. Wasting time. God took his time in the tabernacle that was built in the Old Testament. He told Moses, look, my friend, you need to do some stuff before I can come over here. <laughs> and overshadow the, 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 the tabernacle. You must put things in right places. You must anoint this man. You must anoint this person. You must anoint this person. And they are the one qualified to get into the inner court. And if they go there without being anointed, they will die. <laughs> and he said, sometimes he said, those who are anointed, if they go out, they will also die. 
the, the essence of the tabernacle that's what we are right now in the new testament church of god is the anointing it was the anointing we started with two people say oh what is this all this i said no worry they will come <laughs> they what are they not coming see more things are still coming on the way see when anointing makes you to get out of your limitations just make it to overlook your limitation that's anointing the anointing makes you to forget your limitations ha ha everybody say ha ha the anointing make your husband of the future walk towards your way and never going to rest until he approaches you in marriage and then someone here well, listen to me very soon your marriage will be set to you. In the community, oh well, in this day, we don't, it's not easy to get married here. There's all kind of problem. No, who told you that? In the face of the anointing, who is the creator of the heavens and the earth? Who is he? The anointing, the power of God. God is not just someone who just walk in church and make noise in church. And then we will get out there in the lecture theater in our room in the open places in the park and it cannot do anything handicap outside but walk in church that's not the god i saw amen amen say let it be so shine among how many men amen. only men in the church oh man that may see what see your good works and what see we don't have a descriptive gospel we talk about describing somebody no the gospel is about describing god amen not describing human being when god is described a fan into action god got angry at the time got angry how did he get angry in the camp he said you moses the way you are so close to me what happened to you he said you did not hallow me honor me before the people what did what did moses do god told moses speak to the rock hmm. moses said well pa, pa, with the rod with the rock and say well will this rock bring you water you guys so he doubted god and god before god's people and god said the promised land you cannot get there because why because you do not hallow me before the people wow God like open show. Everybody say open show. Aha. Uh -huh. God is everywhere. He want to be rason topica. As upon your feet. Rasabaka. There is no secret God in God. There is no secret God. Ashatabakata. I command the power of the Holy Ghost to consume you. Rasatabakata. I command. I command the power of the Holy Ghost to consume you. From the feet up to your head. Master. Right now, right now, let it flow this way. Right this way. Speak. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost take over me. Every distraction, every evil, every sickness, every disease, every drug, every backwardness fly out. By the anointing, I command fly out now i command in the name of jesus fly out thank you thank you i appreciate it thank you in jesus name we pray god spoke to my ear he said i give you the permission so you can say as much you want to say tonight that's what he told me he said i give you the permission to go as much as you can go so make sure you pay attention every statement i say here is going to come to pass it just gave me the permission have your seat let's get into this scripture and bring it out let's get in there and bring it out i'm so sad if somebody is not here today i'm i'm I kind of i kind of I, i'm sad I'm sad. The day 
And some people will get their breakthrough. That's it. They just get upset. They've been working for long, for, for a long time, and they just. What will happen tonight? In the next thirty years, you'll be reaping the reward. Number two. Number two. The activities of the anointing and what the anointing can do. All right. Anointing is a body remover and a yoke destroyer. Everybody say yoke destroyer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And anointing is not a manager of poverty. Anointing is not a manager of stress. <laughs> I'm telling you everything. I'm going to have everything here. I'm going to open it for you to see. Anointing is not a manager of depression. It's not a manager of that. What I read from you in the book of Isaiah, it said, It shall come to pass. Let's read it together. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. Isaiah 10 27. This is the Bible, the word of God. The scripture cannot be broken. Okay, I could be broken in pieces as human being, but the word of God is going to collect me back and make me whole. The word of God cannot be what broken. So only a thing that cannot be broken that can make people whole. That's the word of God. It's an embodiment of God's virtue. Cannot be broken. They sent for this word and he heals them. And what? And delivered them from their destruction. Ha! He sent forth his word. He heals them. Ha. And deliver. From destruction. Now watch this. As you chapter 10, verse 27. It shall come to pass. In that day, this is the day, New Testament, that his body will be taken away from your shoulder. Body. And it's you from off your neck. And the yoke will be destroyed. It's not enough to be taken away. It will be completely consumed. Because of what? Your head must not lack anointing. See, when you see a Christian, see suffering, stress, and, and depression. There's no anointing yet. When the anointing take over you, it will be in your, you'll be alone in the room. It will be a crowd with you in that room. That's the work of anointing. Anointing sometimes to the, to the one who carries it, it entertains the man who carries it. Let me say, who carries him? Let me personalize it. See, the anointing is the reason why you can talk and enjoy what you are talking. <laughs> when you do things and you don't enjoy it, that's stress. What do I say? That's stress. Anointing makes you study okay, and enjoy what you are studying. That's anointing. Anointing will make you work several hours a day and yet you're not tired. That's anointing. The only reason I can stay in campus ministering to you guys can only be anointing. The only reason where this stubborn guy can, with the three master degree in engineering, coming over here from Arizona State University, coming to stop, coming to be a pastor here, can only be because of the anointing. Not a small boy. I was always the best student in my everywhere I go. Secondary primary is always best. Okay. My GPS are there and my house are there. Hank at home. Put it in one corner there. One day I say, Lord, this certificate, take it. I give it to you. I don't care anymore. I care about the anointing. What do I say? You will take care of me. Well, watch this. I am going to be one of the richest. It's going to happen. Why? Because of the gospel. The gospel need to spread. Everybody just spread. 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 And we spread. If only we focus on the anointing, it will what? We spread. Not our ability. Not your ability. And that's why I'm crying out today for you to embrace the anointing. And the reason why you are here today is anointing. Anointing. 
anointing destroy yokes okay? destroy yokes somebody can't sleep very well there's somebody here today god is telling me today marks the end of not being able to sleep very well if you are the person shout hallelujah god said from now on you'll be able to sleep very well anointing make you enjoy your sleep now listen carefully this is carefully in the book of psalm the bible say he gives his beloved sleep is it for you to rise up early after you rise up early and work so hard and you still eat the bread of sorrow that is psalm 127 if i'm correct and still eat the bread of sorrow because god gives his beloved sleep why because of the anointing anointing destroys yoke anointing is the only thing that can make your finger as you are playing that keyboard to be a finger of professional very soon and i prophesy to you today your ministry will blow up <laughs> rise up on your feet oh lord let me shine your glory to the world let me shut rest to poco sata rest to the break to poco sande set to so poco takasanya kanda ah set to lo poco tapaka sata kaya let me shine your glory to the world You are wet men who can reflect you. You said, Let your life be so shine among men. Let me shine your glory among men. Ah, your name must be glorified. In Jesus' name, I declare, have your sin. You know what he told me? He said, Don't worry, Bola, I'm with you. He emphasized in my head, Don't worry. Everything's under control. So when it tells me like that, I'm just very happy, man. See, I don't like talking microphone when the anointing is not moving. I will eat myself. Empty man. When there's no anointing, man, it's born. What does it? I don't like to listen to messages that doesn't have the inflow of the anointing. It deteriorates me. I walk away. Hallelujah. I walk away. Anointing is what we need, man. That's what we need. We can't force people to come to church, man. <laughs> okay. These secret core people, they are very strong. Some people are very technically oriented, but 70% technical stuff. They are very close. You can't break them. And then diabolic about 30%. You need the anointing to break all those that diabolical stuff in our community. We need you to get out. Everybody say, get out. We need that. Oppression here and there. We need the anointing. See, you can't do anything to oppress you. You need the anointing to refuse oppression. What do I say? You are not confident about that? Come on, let's open your and say, I need the anointing to, op to resist oppression. Say that to yourself. What else do you need? You think you need your pen or talking about gpa gpa there are so many people with gpa and phd they are at home collecting ten dollar per hour let's see gpa good reference letter recommendation letter boy <laughs> okay whatever glory you got get of men it doesn't last that much, man. Can feed you, but what about the virtue in that in that in that in that success? The blessing of God makes rich. Without what? Without hardening sorrow, you need the anointing to to be able to have your blessings and enjoy it. See, ah, thank you, Father. See, whatever God gives you, it makes you enjoy it, and that's why I keep telling myself. See. And I'm not ready to die. I'm not ready to grow older until I'm 90. When I got to 90, 90 years, I'll start growing older. Why? 
because God started with me late in this anointing process <laughs> and I'm just starting everybody I'm just starting watch out in the next one or two years I'm going to be younger than this you're looking at me right now watch out very well I'm not I'm not joking God said the the physical physique of Moses was not abated his natural force was not abated his eyes was not dim that's the anointing what does it when the, when Moses confronted God in the month of Sinai what happens is he was, he was transformed by the anointing and the ability to wear off disappear he couldn't wear actually Moses didn't, didn't even die natural death he didn't die natural death he walked away and we didn't find him <laughs> Abraham walked with God I was not saying there are experiences in the scripture right may that laughter give you breakthrough God is very happy with you. Right? Just want to tell you right now. So God just tells me He's happy with you. Okay. No matter what enemy try to you, it's not going to work. The enemy has already what failed. Hallelujah. Hmm. Number three. The activities of the anointing and what the anointing can do. Mm-hmm. Oh man. <laughs> There are a lot of things going on in this world, man. Boy. Somebody was calling me one day and said, Which of those courts are you do you belong to? He said, Which of them you belong to? You know, because all people are belonging to this and that. I don't want to mention any court and so I'm just doing I'm just there's a freedom of speech, okay. I said, oh, that one is also you people just join that group, they, they always prosper, you know, in the way they fix them, they could get this and that. Say, which one do you belong to? I was just looking at her. You know what I can say? Don't you know that as the order of the community, that's the order. You must join one group or the other. Anybody who dare call my children to influence them to call, they will die. Right in their face. Amen. They will die. I cannot suffer for several years in prayer, bringing my children up, and then you just come from nowhere and try to hypnotize them and turn them against God ah, yeah, 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 yeah. the entire evil will be engaged right. what do I say and sometimes I have feel pain in my heart because I was teaching my children no we're going to get it done like this no this, this was a tug of war anyone who invests must reap what do I say must reap none of you here none of you none of you if anybody is planning by hypnotism to take you to evil place and before you know it, manipulating you before you know it they will disappear before you they disappear they try it on you they try it when you come to the campus it's all over the campus too in the name of church and they start practicing of autism on you it's your testimony right until you got here i say oh i didn't know that this this, this kind of thing is happening in campus and the orientation changed they actually baptize her he baptized her in, in court in the name of church. It's in campus recruiting people to demonic world in the name of church. Any church you go to, and they don't talk about Jesus Christ, the only way to heaven. Get out. What do I say? No question about the Holy Spirit. What are you doing there? The reason why Christ came to the world is because of the Holy Spirit. He said, I am going to my father. I will say a comforter to you. He shall teach you all things, right? Even those who have not been able to teach you, he will what? teach you. Right? So important. Only should manipulate you. You are not manipulatable. Say that I am not manipulatable. Learn how to stay with the little beginning. Because little beginning make a difference. God never starts great things. With a great thing let me repeat myself again god never starts great thing with what with a great thing god starts great thing with a little what do i say what is 
highly despised and ignored that is what god centers on centers on that highly despised and ignored god never start greatness with greatness never jesus came to this world ignored nobody even count him important he was actually dishonored they asked, there's no room for you here in, in, the, in the general hospital take it away this is already full here they took him in the midst of Halima to go and give back to my savior oh, my savior in the midst of Halima the king of Israel the ancient of day the lord of hosts I am that I am humbled himself came from the throne of God what was despised but today became the king of our salvation hallelujah come on shout are you excited about that rise up with peter and shout hallelujah now celebrate him king of israel i thank you anointing i thank you holy one of israel i thank you come on give me praise shout his name shout rosa tabaka ramo shandi bella roba give me ramo shandi bella mana karama tumbo shindi shout his name his name is higher above the name. His name is Jesus. His name is your hand and worship his holy name. Burden remover and a yoke destroyer. It will destroy. It is what it is. I will say it is what it is. When the anointing that play yoke, they get destroyed. Amen. Yoke of torment in our brain, torment in our feet, in stomach. 
when the anointing is operational those things die off they die naturally see uh, you know i've been trying to cooperate with god not to make too much noise of the divine Iliad. I don't want to make it because sometimes people can see you proud and they are talking in another way. See, it is very possible to enjoy divine healing. What do I say? You are, you are afraid? You say, everybody is afraid. Say, okay. Because they depend so much on doctors. Is that true? Depend too much on doctors. Everybody say that. It's very possible, confidently, to enjoy divine healing. See, the day you decide, I'm done with this, God will be done also. That's why we need anointing. See, God doesn't go to a level we don't go with Him. So, see, so that means we can only limit God. God doesn't limit Himself. God is not stingy. Everybody say, God is not stingy. God is not stingy. If you are obedient and willing, you shall eat the good of the land you are willing god doesn't force people that's a problem that's why a christian is different from another christian god will never force the old is turned by the door and knock anyone who hears must first have to open the door i ask him to see somebody come to my house and knock at my door right if i don't ask you to come in and sit down if you try to come i'll boot you up man maybe that's a criminal but for me to to bring you in means i really want you then not not only that not like oh you came in and you're just be walking around here i was sit down please right? and then entertain you right because i really need you around right god wants to be needed i will say god wants to be needed it's a profit maker ah everything he does he want to get glory it's a loud noise if you allow me to use that vocabulary how how did i get that how did i get that what, what did it mean he said let your life be so shall of men mm -hmm. and they may see your work uh -huh. what is the meaning of that <laughs> that's a loud <laughs> that's a show <laughs> amen <laughs> light this candle and put it under the bushes ah okay so that means that you need to show off sometimes now listen carefully say a prepared table before me in the presence of my enemy why the presence of the enemies why why not just presence of my friends go to party together why the enemies who, who hates me he wants to go and invite the enemy say sit down and bring me in there he put me in danger <laughs> but i say i like that I put you in danger and they will not hurt you. Amen. They will not what? As I say, although I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, <laughs> because God is involved, God is interested, God is a profit maker, I will fear no evil because the Lord is with me. Oh, the Lord is with me. That's what? The Lord is with me. Doesn't matter. The enemy around, cracking their brain. <laughs> But the Lord is with what? But they won't hurt you. Was it? That's my sunshine bubble. <laughs> sunshine what? That's my sunshine bubble. What can you do about him? <laughs> That's my sunshine girl. <laughs> Hallelujah. What have we been doing around? We've been relegating God to the background. I think God is not with us. What's going on? We need the anointing to connect back to the anointing. You know some people hey god can only walk this way but this way doesn't really work this way says who says who says who he walks everywhere bible says he rules in their fears of what man he rules in their fear what god is involved physically psychologically every area god wants to be celebrated in every department of our lives you put God to sit down and entertain him every day. Wow. Wow. And they said, who can awaken the youth of this generation? 
and I have the answer to for them. The answer is simply the anointing. The what? The anointing. Oh, shut up. Thank you, Father. Number three. I said, what are the activities of the anointing and what the anointing can do? Hmm. Number three. Anointing can cause spiritual death just as it can cause one to live. Now, I want to clarify something to you because today I want you to go out of here with knowledge of God. Amen. God already told me, said, I will be revealing this to you and you must be dispatching them. Because the youth of our generation, right, need to be impregnated for delivery. Spiritual death. You see some people, oh, the minister is so well, they say so well as a Christian, they are fervent. Suddenly, you discover that the anointing is corrupted. You wonder what's going on with them, and they still functioning as if they are anointed. But there's something wrong about their life. See, you see a lot, a couple of them in the, in the, in the YouTube. They still do some miracles, kind of some little touch of miracle. The, the remnant of the whole old oil. What do I call it? Hold oil. That is a sure evidence that the anointing we carry, if we misapply it, if you carry the anointing to a strange place where God, God does not order us to go, See, the anointing is ordained for the service of God, the way God wants it. When Nanda Banabiu in the offer strange fire, you knew what happened. You are consumed. So the anointing functions according to the need of the owner. You can't go and apply anointing. In the midst of prostitutes, when God does not command you to do so, or you carry anointing to a party and dancing and be hugging and kissing somebody with the anointing of the Holy Ghost, you know what it can cause? It can cause a death. What do I call it? A spiritual death. What will be alive, but what will be dead? See, it's very important for me to tell you all these things so that you don't get confused. What is wrong? This brother started where? What happened to him? This one started where? What happened? See, people just sometimes think God is so free because of grace. God doesn't punish sin immediately in the time of grace. Right? But the consequence of sinning always happens. God can't help that. There's always a consequence of sin, even though God might give you room to repent. Even after you are repented, you will still need to be disciplined. Amen? If my son or my daughter, okay, if they misbehave, uh, it is, it, it, if they apologize, I will be able, right? But I'm going to do something that won't make them do that anymore. That is discipline. Even in a classroom, there should be a rule and there should be consequences. All right? Am I clear? Okay. Everywhere in the world, if you create a rule as a teacher, there must also be what? Consequences for disobedience of the rules. So, how come we have understanding? In the physical world and we don't have understanding in the time of the spiritual world that is even deeper why because we take god for granted and think grace can just be pouring <laughs> even when we continue it. god punishes again god punishes sin he can forgive you <coughs> because of the grace of christ but it will still give you some taste. As long as you want to continue to be his, you see, whoever the father loves, he what? Chastises. Okay, because he loves you. He doesn't care about you. Okay, you are half the devil, so it doesn't really matter. So that's why it is so important that we cannot use anointing 
to function with a strange woman or strange men. That's what happened to Solomon. Solomon was calling strange women to the palace to play around with the anointing God placed on, on him, the anointing of wisdom. He began to share the wisdom of God with, with a lot and playing on the bed with them. Oh my God. Not only that. How many were they have? Eh? Three how many concubines? Eh? Even if you go in for one, one, one woman per day, <laughs> it, <laughs> that, that means that one woman won't be able to see him in a whole year. That's serious, right? It was he <laughs> playing around with anointing among strange people. Guess what? God finished him. Even though God said, I will not go to remove my mercy from him, God said, Ricky, your heart has been taken away by women. I'm removing my mercy this time. He got it out. God can repent. <laughs> Amen. What is it? Uh -huh. For a heart that is away from it, God turn his back to I support your feet today. Father, do not turn your back at me. I need nothing but touch me with your anointing. Presence, oh God, take not your Holy Spirit from me. Oh, restore to me the joy of my salvation. For in your own spirit within. Of God. God love with you. The end of the world. The Lord talk to us about our past.